Feature Friday. The freshest. <sighs> When you have an awesome band centered in the Philippines, based in the Philippines, known for the awesomeness of their singing. Gigi the Vibes. You know this man is gonna sing his whole heart out. Didn't know he could sing, actually. Um... It doesn't surprise me. It doesn't come as a surprise to me. I'm sure he's dope as well. <laughs> oh, wow. I actually have no idea what he sounds like. Mm -hmm. Quick text. Sorry, love, I'm busy. I'm about to murder this cover of Brang Magneto. Just look at Gigi. Look at Gigi. Gigi's just <laughs> slipping in. I guess, I guess so. So small as well. Tiny, tiny work. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Makes zero sense. Zero none. Why the fuck has he not sung before? I think he does a lot of backing vocals and stuff. Because her, little, her little head. My god, boy, Dude, what is sings. it? Okay, no, let's talk about his vocal technique. He yes, sir. sings. Okay, no. Brav. Absolutely adore it. I think we have spoken about this specific vocal technique that is actually quite predominant in male singers of the Philippines, such as Daryl Ong. Yes, he doesn't that he doesn't do it often, but he does have moments or specific performances where you can really see that the modulation is within the mouth and it's not very uh, physical in the face. What do I feel about that in terms of technicalities? I actually think there is a lot of more control that it's gained yep. through very small facial modulation because it, it means that the, the, the energy and the right uh, uh, muscles are being worked mm. because his diction is perfect and his uh, intonation and his placing is absolutely impeccable. So what you're seeing here is somebody who has developed a technique that's very inside of the mouth work. So all the soft palate uh, lifting, it's part of the inside of, of the mouth work. Actually, the only part that, because it's so extreme here, there are certain vowels that actually would push him to do more facial modulations like a ooh or a sha. It just kind of comes forward in the lips just to kind of like bring forward some of that warmth. But in, 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 in retrospective, if you're having a look at his actual singing technique, all of it is happening in the soft palate, his resonance. And look at how beautifully lifted those larynx are, but also look how incredibly relaxed his upper body is. All of this stuff that is actually bringing... Oh, she's on well! What happened? Ah, did she, maybe she went to the dentist. Maybe she did. Maybe she went to the dentist and oh, she's got... Bless her. She took her mola or something. Oh, no. So maybe that's why he's singing. But God damn, let the motherfucker sing more often! But you see his upper body relaxation? So great. Wow, he's got so much personality too. Yeah, nah. Oh, go back to that run. Can you go back to that run? Goodness gracious. You see, 
all of that run was inside modulation. So a soft palate lifting and moving is actually glottal sunset actually changing. The, his larynx placing is actually what's moving here as well. So what you're seeing is a vocalist that is incredibly nimble, incredibly flexible. And look how very little he's exerting physically. I love that. Dude, what I the? I want to memorize that. Oh, He's everything I want to be. And did, did you hear how romantic that moon comes yeah. forward? Dude, she's got good fucking music. Oh, they are just ridiculous. They're so OP. What the fuck on the keyboards? <laughs> fries. <laughs> Large fries. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Just to prove that he's actually singing this. The voice over. Thank you very much. That was a song from. Wow. We love that. Okay. What? Dude, what? that run. He is him. No, that's ridiculous. He is him. I know This version is so freaking great because you have really great things about this. So was, this song is incredibly melodic, but you need to find the soulfulness that is very recognizable of Brian McKnight, right? So you have in that kind of like soul forward, but it's also very personalized in this in this, yeah, yeah, in this cool. cover. Probably one of the best covers I've heard of this song. Yeah, and we've heard I a ton so. of people, especially from the Philippines, cover Brian McKnight. Ironically enough, he's damn popular with it. You know? Oh yeah, he's incredibly Matter popular. of fact, Moves, right? He's a producer for the Philippines, Tazio Records. He did Brian McKnight. He produced for Brian McKnight and Brian McKnight Jr. Yeah, he did. His son. He did. Uh, very, like, and he, he's fucking popular, well, that damn also, song. There's also that iconic clip of Brian McKnight singing with Regine Velasquez and him gushing all over Oh, him. yeah, that's true. So, so that's he'd be right. like, oh my God, you're so actually incredible. That's right. Which is understandable. So his impact into the mu music industry in the Philippines is wild. But the fact that this mother trucker sounds like this. Just look at him, so inconspicuous. You would never know. What the hell happened to Gigi? What does she look like? She's Aww. She got punched in the head. Can I just also say thank you for one million? Oh, yeah, thanks, mate. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, we'll be streaming on Friday. <laughs> we'll be streaming on Friday. Obviously, a million people. How nuts is that? That's actually pretty insane. Um, yeah, Just so say. come tune in. We'll celebrate. We'll be playing shit. A ton of celebrations lately. Valeska's birthday. Huh? Um, if this was totally unplanned, just saying. It just Things that just happen to be happening. Yeah, how crazy is that, you know? And I remember at this point on our YouTube, like, it's been four years, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so four years ago, so it was April 2020. Um, we we were like at that point we were just basically making videos for fun like April pandemic there was fuck all to do um, <laughs> and I think a lot of you guys found out the channel in the pandemic but it only really got serious after July um, 
I remember when, you know, fucking we received the first couple of dollars from YouTube. We uh, like, I remember oh when God. we did the first ever streams. I remember like the first super chat we ever got. I remember that really well. It was in a cooking video we were doing. I remember like the first sponsorship, the first, all of that happened that year. Um, but later on, so like, w if you actually put into perspective, it's actually so crazy how many of you are here now in such a, well, in my opinion, such a short period of time. Um, I've obviously, you know, there's obviously people that fucking achieved what we've achieved in like two days, but I, oh, I don't care about other people. This is my story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it, it's actually amazing and awesome to have your guys here. And obviously Gigi uh, played, played a role in that. because we obviously mm -hmm. reviewed a ton of her work and, um, yeah, they, you know, it's awesome. I, it's I incredible. You guys are awesome. So come tune in on Friday and uh, we'll be reviewing music as always on Feature Friday Station Live. Yes. I love this fucking beginning because you never expect this. Honestly, so inconspicuous. I thought he was in yeah. It just comes out of nowhere. It has no business being that good. What the fuck? How can he sing that good though? What was his deal? I actually don't know how they how he does it because because uh, it's so it's uh, not only tight in the mouth but it's actually quite small, quite narrow on the jaw too. Yep. And so actually all the work is actually happening towards the back of the of the throat. So it's like he's really taking advantage of that natural resonance. Anyways, let us know what you guys thought about it and see you Friday. Goodbye.